Welcome to Chapter 3, Lesson 1, where we're going to learn how to um, draw straight lines. This will be a pretty basic lesson. So what I need you to do is go to your handout folder, and you're going to go to Handouts, Business Handouts, Shonifer, Computer Graphics, Illustrator, and Chapter 3. And under Chapter 3, you're going to open AI 3-1. So this will be the file that we're going to work with for this section. So the first thing we're going to talk about is how to create new views. Easy ways to switch between perspectives in our Illustrator window. So I want you guys to select your zoom tool and then scroll up to um, the yellow portion or use your hand tool if you need to, the yellow portion of our window. What we're going to do is zoom in with our zoom tool until we can only see the yellow section. And you may have to use your hand tool and your zoom tool between the two to make this happen. And so now that we can see the yellow section only, we're going to take our zoom tool and we're going to click and hold and drag to surround our area. And when we release, we're going to come to our view and go to new view and we're going to call this one yellow. Then we're going to do something very similar with our mint or our pink. So we're going to scroll until we just see our pink area, come to our zoom, drag and drop, or drag and surround, release, and then come to view new view and call this one pink and then use our hand tool scroll down to our mint area do the same thing move to zoom tool surround our images and go to view new and mint and then hit ok and what you'll notice now is when you come to view there are options that you can select down below. So let's select our yellow view. So now we're going to talk about how to draw straight lines using our pen tool. So the first thing we need to do is select our pen tool and then we want to open up our color swatches and make sure that our fill, so click on fill, is none and then click on our stroke and make sure our stroke color is black. So now we will just have black outlines with no other color obstructions. So first thing we're going to do is click on our start, click and release, move to point 2, click and release, point 3, click and release, and point 4. So you'll notice that you don't have to drag your lines across wherever your first click was, it'll connect it to the next click that you make. But now you'll notice that my uh, mouse is still a pen tool and still um, selected to try and draw another line. The way we get rid of that is by hitting control and then clicking on our selection tool and releasing control and now we can deselect that line that we were working on. So let's go back to our pen tool and this time we're going to go to our start then go to 2 and now go to 4. What we are going to do here is we're going to create an additional anchor point that's going to allow us to adjust our line down to that point number 3. So we're going to bring our pen tool back over on this path in between 2 and 4 and click again and you'll see that it's going to add a new anchor point. Then holding control we're going to come over and select our direct selection tool and we're going to click on this anchor and hold and drag this new anchor point down to 3 and it is going to change where our line is. So now we need to go to our new view so we're going to come down to our view and then go to pink and pink is now selected. We're going to go to our pen tool and trace around our shape. In this lesson we are going to learn how to um, align anchor points. So we're going to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 and then back to the start. And you'll notice when you're completing an object there will be a larger square, white square, that will appear when you know that you're intersecting to close an object. And when you do that, your pen tool will no longer be drawing. 
So what we are going to do now is we are going to go to our direct selection tool and we're going to click on anchor points three and then hold down our shift key to select multiple objects and six. So now both those anchor points are selected and we are going to align them by going to object, path, and then average. And we're going to select for this option horizontal so that it aligns it on a horizontal axis. And now you'll see that our shape is shifted. So we're going to do the same thing with our start. Hold down shift. Come to 4. Go back to our objects. Path. Average. And we're going to do it vertical this time. So then the other thing that we can do is converge two points. And we are going to converge um, points 2 and 5. So with the direct selection tool, clicking on 2. Holding shift, clicking on 5, coming back to object, path, and we are going to select the um, average, and we're going to align it with both. And hit OK. And now those two points are going to be intersecting. So now we're going to move to our new, next view by going to view and mint. And I messed up this one a little bit, so we're going to scroll a little up so that we can see both diamonds in our window. So for this section, we are going to learn how to join anchor points when drawing lines. So let's come to our pen tool, and we are going to trace our diamonds by hitting each corner and clicking each time we get to a corner. And then like we did in the last object, making sure that we recover that beginning point to create an entire object. So now we're going to come to this next one, trace our diamond again, so that we have two full diamonds. So what we want to do is we're going to create a new object using these paths. So the first thing we're going to do is click on the far left, we're going to, sorry, go to your selection tool, your direct selection tool, click on the anchor on the far left of our diamond, and then we're going to come to Edit and Cut, and it should get rid of two lines of our diamond. We're going to do the same thing on the right side of our right diamond. Click on that far anchor point, Edit and Cut. So now we just have um, half of each diamond. So now we're going to join our um, anchor points. So we are going to use our Direct Selection tool. Click on the top of this half of the diamond, hold Shift and then click on the top of our next diamond. Then we're going to go to Object, Path, and Join, and now it's drawing a line between the two. Do the same thing at the bottom, click on the anchor, hold Shift, click on the second anchor, go to Object, Path, and Join. So now we have a completed object. So what I want you to do is open up your swatches, make sure you're on your fill color, and drag the yellow onto the path to where it's going to allow you to change the interior color of the object we just created. Go ahead and save your work as last name, comma, first name, straight lines.